Hey, what's up y'all? Doug here from Breakthrough Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to talk about chord inversions, specifically the second chord inversion. So we're going to go through all the chords in the D major scale, and we're going to go through those second inversions using the G, B, and E strings. So first, let's go through the chords of the D major scale. We're going to start off with the D. You already know D. E minor. F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor, C sharp diminished, and then we're back at D. Now, so when you're writing music in the key of D major or the relative minor, B minor, these are the chords that work well together, especially if your first chord is a D major. So now let's go through the second inversions so you can use the open chords, bar chords, but now adding the second inversions across the G, B, and E strings to further develop your chord vocabulary. So the first chord is D, and we can strum the open D string because that's a part of the chord, but when we start moving up the strings, we're just going to strum the G, B, and E strings. So move up, change to a D minor shape, move your fingers around, and we're going to slide this up to frets. And we have an E minor. And we have an E minor. So it's E minor shape. So as we move up the fretboard, keep your ring finger on the B string. D. E minor. Slide up two frets. With that same shape, and we have F sharp minor. playing up the D major scale. Next is G major, slide up one fret and change back to your major shape, like the D major. And the root of all of these chords are going to be on the B string. So this eighth fret, that's a G. F sharp, E. So as you go up these chords, make sure that you're saying the name of the chord. That way you know the note name of the B string and you're memorizing the major or minor shapes. D, E minor, F sharp minor, G major. Next, move up two frets and we're going to play A major. up another two frets and switch back to your minor shape and we're at B minor B minor A major G major F sharp minor E minor D major and then last is C sharp diminished. So you're just going to bar across the 12th fret and put your ring finger on the 14th fret of the B string. C sharp and then we're back at the D major. So you can use these chords when writing songs. So let's take a chord progression with these chords. Let's play a D to a B minor G, and then an E minor. So you can do all sorts of rhythmic stuff with that and melodic stuff. But let's keep it simple and just go through the chords. Let's 
do the same thing with the chord inversions. D to a B minor to a G major to the E minor. Back to the D. So they're right next to each other. So instead of going from here to here, it's a lot easier to go to this E minor. And you're playing in the higher octave, so it sounds slightly different. It doesn't have bass to it, but it's still that same, it carries the same feeling. So try to utilize these new chords with your guitar playing. You can use it for songwriting, guitar solos. You can just, you can arpeggiate the notes and play really cool melodies. You can play lead guitar and it just really spices up your chords. It really changes things up. And it, plus it looks cool when you're moving around the fretboard and you start to feel a lot more confident with how you move around. So if you like guitar tips and tricks like this, make sure to follow, comment, and subscribe.